Hi and welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson we'll be looking at metals and how they react with acids. So for the first thing I'd like you to do is I'd like you to have a little think and write down as many metals as you can think of. Okay, then can you see if you can remember any of those chemical symbols for those metals? You might want to use a periodic table, you might have one in your planner or you can find one on the web. Okay, so pause the video, have a little go. Right, so what we're looking at today is what happens when metals react with acids. So I would like you to be able to look at the word equations and write word equations for how metals react with acids. And I want you to think about planning and investigation for how metals and acids react. Also, I want you to know about how you test for the gas that's produced. So what happens? Well, a metal and an acid makes a salt and hydrogen. So when a metal and an acid react, they make a salt and hydrogen. Notice how these are all written on one line. Now this can be a bit tricky when some of the terms are quite long, but we must make sure that everything on the left-hand side is of the arrow is on the left, because that's everything that starts the reaction. That's all our reactants. And everything on the right-hand side of the arrow, our products, the things that are made, must be on the right-hand side. So sometimes we have to write things above and below, but we mustn't put our products, the things that we make, underneath on the next line, our reactants, the things we start with. So what happens when you use hydrochloric acid? You get a metal chloride. So the salt made is called a metal chloride. If you use sulfuric acid, the salt made will be called a metal sulfate. So it's not salt as in fish and chip salt, it's a type, it's a chemical. Okay, so if we use nitric acid, so the metal reacts with nitric acid, we'll get a metal nitrate. So we're gonna look at some examples. Every single time though, notice it doesn't matter what acid is used, every single time hydrogen gas is produced. So I want you to have a little go at writing some of these word equations. So zinc plus hydrochloric acid will make zinc, chloride and hydrogen. Magnesium plus hydrochloric acid will make magnesium chloride plus hydrogen. I'll do one more for you and then you can have a little go. So we'll do calcium. Calcium plus nitric acid makes calcium nitrate plus hydrogen gas okay so you use these to write a word equation each word equation make sure you put them in at one line okay again you see how we've had to do the metal nitrate so the one we were just talking about was calcium nitrate we might have to be on top of each other but the things on the left and the things on the right of the arrow must be kept separate Okay, so what happens? So when we do a reaction, we put the metal inside the, um, in this case, hydrochloric acid, magnesium inside hydrochloric acid, you'd see bubbles. And what do those bubbles mean? They would mean that a gas had been produced. And what is that gas? The gas from our word equations, we should know it's hydrogen gas. And how we can test for that? What we can do is we can put a burning splint inside our test tube where the hydrogen gas is and we'll hear a squeaky pop. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little video of this. So here you can see that they've got the hydrochloric acid, put the magnesium in, they put, just put their finger over to keep the gas inside, otherwise the gas would escape. Lighten a splint. Okay, waiting for the gas. You can see the bubbles there. Okay, we're making the salt. The salt here would be magnesium hydrochloric acid, would be magnesium chloride. Put the splint in, and you can hear a squeaky pop. So that's evidence that hydrogen gas has been made. Why didn't it, it squeaky pop the second time? Because the gas had already been burnt off. Okay, so in your books, can you answer the following question? So pause it and have a little go. What is the word equation for a reaction between metal and an acid? So the general equation, the one we looked at at the beginning. What salt would you uh, produce if you react metal with hydrochloric acid? And what test can you perform for hydrogen gas? So pause the video and have a little go. Okay, uh, so your last, um, one of your last tasks is to design an investigation. So can you come up with an investigation to test which one of these metals would be more reactive? Okay, if it's more reactive, it would, uh, we can place them in a reactivity series. We can say this metal is more reactive than another metal. Okay, pause the video, have a little go. And your last task is this little quiz, okay? So pause the video, have a little go at each of the questions, and in a second, we'll just go through them.
Okay, and here's our answers. What's the gas produced when a metal reacts with an acid? It's hydrogen gas. What salt would be produced if a metal reacts with hydrochloric acid? It would be metal chloride. What experiment can we use to test for hydrogen gas? It's a squeaky pop test. And what is meant by reactivity series? That's how we can order the metals and how reactive they are. And what metal was the most reactive? Unfortunately, it would have been magnesium. So I know that that one would be a bit of a difficult one to do just by video.